Right. Um. Right. The camera's just starts the camera. Okay. So, hi. Hello. Um. This is my cousin Troy, and uh, today we are going to be talking about Spider-Man: Far From Home. Hey guys, you heard him. My name's Troy, and I'm super excited to see my, co- my cousin in his last one. So it's like and subscribe. God, he's adorable. All right, so Spider-Man: Far From Home. Anyways, wow, what a film! I. I was amazed by the whole thing, especially the end, which was just mind blowing in it of itself. I cannot believe uh, all the stuff that was added in. It was incredible. Um, I should probably mention that there are spoilers um, for the movie, so go watch it first and then come back to this video. You know, just so that way you don't get uh, spoiled. spoiled. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The first thing we're gonna so, talk about is this suit. Um, actually, uh, no, actually, I was gonna list. Okay, do you wanna save the suit for the end? Okay. All right, all right. So we, let's talk about the story. My God. Okay, so the story starts off um with Nick Fury and her and her his assistant uh, going to Mexico. Apparently, there was a weird storm. And then, like some kind of rock Element. monster appears, like an uh, yeah, elementals. Those were yeah. they are called elementals. And what their deal was is that they are these sort of uh, evil creatures. Uh, and even and Nick and uh, the assistant try to take it down, but then a uh, mysterious shows up and then starts shooting at it. It's and magic. Then, yeah. Green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We'll get to his powers later on yeah, as we are going through this. So, anyways, the film continues. We get uh, the opening credits and actually, wait, no. Yeah, yeah. We get uh, the opening credits for Marvel, and it's a uh, uh, sort of memorial for Iron Man, and for Captain, Iron Man America. Captain America, and Black Wid- Widow. Black Widow. Yeah. I nearly said Widowmaker. Sorry, wrong character. Um, so yeah, it's bas- basically five years since uh, the snap, and like if everyone is just uh, grown older, and but it's all weird. Yeah, yeah, everyone's just the same way, the same age, like when when they were snapped. Even yeah, like while 16, others. While other people who weren't snapped, they ended up uh, just like aging and growing taller. So, yeah, they never go to age, they remain the way they were. Yeah, so Peter um, goes... Okay, we'll just refer to him as Spider-Man. Right? Yeah, Spider-Man. Um, okay, so Spider-Man goes off to this uh, community service sort of deal, and he's busy, and he's busy just uh, talking about... Okay, he's there just as an assistant, um, helping out his aunt, and then the whole thing goes great. There's an awkward moment of him just like, Saying thank you and so much. Like it's your typical awkward Peter Parker moment and I love it. That's the yeah. humor in Marvel is just great. Alright, you want the pillow? Yes. It, yeah, there's a snap guy like, Troy, you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Okay, yeah. So anyways, continuing on. <laughs> um alright, so Happy shows up and then starts flirting with Aunt May for some reason. Uh, that was something in the trailer, it was fun. Uh, Happy tells Spidey that Nick Fury is gonna call him and he ends up blocking him which if you ask me I probably would have answered that for not the sake because it's Nick Fury but for the sake of my life because it's Nick Fury <laughs> and you do not ghost Nick Fury um, anyway Spidey goes off and uh, he's preparing for his trip the next day okay okay actually before that um, the press is busy like in interviewing him and he ends up getting like uh, sort of bad memories from the whole uh, snap Avengers Infinity War yeah around. from Endgame okay. like because um, okay if you haven't watched Endgame by now uh, spoiler alert Iron Man died so that's really sad um, 
Because he, he still snapped s- the Infinity Gauntlet to save the entire universe. Yeah. So Spider Man's pretty traumatized about that. He still he misses him a lot. Um including Happy. Yeah, Happy misses him too. So we so we cut to the next day, uh, he's preparing for his trip and uh, he wants to pack his suit but he decides, nah, nah, I don't want to pack this thing, I really don't need to. And then he's thinking about uh, packing the nano suit and I'm just thinking like, the way the container of the nano suit is, it looks like it's in some kind of, it's like a uh, water, it looks like it's in water kind of spiraling around and it's connected to a bunch of wires in the apartment. It's hilarious. Uh, well, Aunt Mate tells Spidey to wear his suit, but yeah, but Spidey's yeah. like, now nah, nah, he doesn't it's vacation pack. time. Let me just, you yeah, know, he just want to relax. Yeah, so he just wants to go on vacation and also he wants to um, tell MJ how he feels and because she, he she kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, okay, I mean, <laughs> no, okay, I guess, no, it's not because she's hot, it's because, um, Spidey liked him, yeah, I Spidey like likes her, so, then they head off to Europe, uh, Spidey tries First to, first place they went to Europe was Italy, it was in Venice, it, yeah, Venice, um, Venice, I guess, I don't know the pronunciation, um, they headed off to Venice, and they're just exploring around the city and they hang out at the hotel for a bit. Then, 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 the, one, the then, during, then one of the elemental the, creatures then, shows up. It's a water it's uh, a elemental. Water element. And Spidey tries to take it down, but he can't. He can't because apparently. Because he never had his suit. He doesn't have his suit. He had his web shooters, but not his suit. But he, well, okay. But Wait. Mysterio comes up with the safe and destroys the water element. Yeah. Not practicals, but but in the scene, uh, Mysterio is coming with a fly, which is he never showed his he never really revealed his self. Oh yeah, he never showed it. To Spidey. Yet. No, he didn't show his face. Um, but uh, yeah. And. And Spidey's friends were they actually were. happy to see someone save them there. Yeah, and one of his friends was just obsessed of him. Um, yeah, that's the thing. A uh, flash, I believe his name was. So then we continue on in the evening, and we see that uh, Nick Fury ends up calling uh, Spidey. In fact, no, he doesn't call him. He shows up in the room. He shows up, and he's just sitting on a chair like. It's good to finally meet right. you, Spider-Man. But and still, before he shows up, and he, he shoots a, his friend in the dark. Yeah, he tranquilizes uh, Ned, yeah. and like, oh, he looked mad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, then Nick Fury is explaining about the whole situation, but he can't, he can't be able to explain because he's interrupted so much. So Spidey gets on his suit. Turns out his aunt uh, packed the suit for him. There was a bit of situation in the airport. The the lady at the airport didn't care much that he had the Spidey suit, maybe because she doesn't know who Spider Man is. Yep. I mean, I mean he's well known in the US, so I guess Europe would be out of the mark. So then they head off to this um it this Venice base they have, and like Spidey a, gets to meet hotel, Mysterio. Like a hotel, but not no, 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 not that. Like no, no, not the hotel, not the hotel. It's the, it's the underground place, like near the water. Oh yeah, they went yeah. to that secret base and they found yeah. Mysterio. And Mysterio's yeah. there. He said he explained about the whole multiverse state and like how there's uh, multi universes and. But oh, wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait. Ah, yeah. uh, what? We'll eat. We'll eat in a sec. We just wanna explain about the movie. Alright, so what it is is that, uh, okay, so we're not gonna, exp- okay, so I try has something to say about Mysterio, but we're gonna save that because that's later on. Um, okay, just, okay, just wait till then. So, yeah, anyways, Miss, his name was, um, wait, what's his name? Bre- Brett? 
Brack. 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 Yeah, Brack. And he's from an alternate universe. And my multiverse. God, multiverse. And when I first heard that, when it was in the trailers, I was like, oh my Lord. Oh, this could be. The possibilities are endless with this. This could be amazing. And so then we'll just. But then it's something else happens in the movie. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so then we continue through, uh, Bennett explains about how his world got destroyed by the elementals and the fire one's going to show up in the next location that Peter and his friends are going to, or actually no, they are going to somewhere else, but then Nick Fury decides to change their trip Huck around. Ja Huck, Huck Jack is Huck ja uh -huh. Nick Fury takes... Hijacks. Hijacks. Oh, hijacks their summer vacation, pretty much, and then end up leading them to some other place. Yeah, Republicate. Yeah, Republicate. And they head off, the, no, Austria. Yeah, they went to Austria. Oh, yeah, they went to Austria first, and then. And they then, like. Got, wait. They went then, to a gas store, and um, some lady uh, gave Peter his suit, and. Peter and Peter was just like do, warning. Wait. This thing contains bad things that you see in the movie. In the movie, uh, so yeah. Let me careful. let me just explain. Okay, I'm I can't put an image up. I don't have any images, and besides, if I had, it would get copyrighted. Um. So what happened was, <laughs> uh. So the lady was just there, and she straight up just told Peter, "Put on your suit." And Peter's like, wait, clothes. what? Like, what? You wait. You mean you want me to remove my clothes? And yes, you remove your clothes, put on your suit. And yeah, it's just so he takes off his pants, and then Brad shows up, the kid that had grown Actually, taller like, five years later, and he and he sees Peter, and he's just like, oh my god! And then Brad just goes. Goes off and he it's wants to picture. go tell MJ. It's a picture, like, to tell MJ. Yeah. And Brad actually liked MJ also, so Peter and Brad were like in a war, you know. Yeah, kind of um, brought between the guys. Anyways, they continue on. Brad, man, Brad um, is about to send a photo, but Peter puts on Tony Stark's glasses. And then he and instead of like deleting the picture, he sent out a sentry drone. And nearly killed the, all of them. And they didn't even know it. That was the thing. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, a weaponized thing like that would probably just uh, be heard by someone. There's no way a drone can be that silent. Yeah. So then Peter saves them from the drone by destroying it. And then he gets the photo deleted. Uh, then they head off to their location. What was it? Dang, I forgot what it it was Republic. Wait, they stopped in a like a town. Yeah, and they were in a fancy hotel. Yeah, um, it was Republic sketch. What we'll just say Republic for now. Uh, so they stopped in this Republic, I guess. Um, cage, 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 cage. Okay, yeah. So then they went off to the hotel. They were gonna go partying, but um, instead Spidey is told that he's gone. He has to go fight the fire elemental. Yeah, so he in and in order to get his friends out of the way from harm's way, he had he, to lock down the hotel. No, he didn't lock down the hotel. No, it was he went to the opera to okay. Yeah, he Nick Fury managed to arrange uh for an opera meet an opera like session. Mm -hmm. So they went to the opera to go and just miss out the whole party. MJ gets a little bit suspicious and decides to follow Peter. Yep. And Spidey, in short. Yeah, Spidey. And uh, Spidey suits up. He's looking around, making sure that uh, the fire elemental, if it shows up, he's ready for it. And Mysterio is also watching from afar. Then the fire elemental shows up and is wrecking havoc everywhere, just destroying everything. And also another thing, the fire elemental, if it gets near metal, it grows bigger and, and stronger. Yeah, so they had to get away from metal before it's completely absorbed the world. So they, so Peter starts throwing boulders at it, which if you ask me makes sense. 
Yeah. Although that thing is like half fire, half lava, so I'm pretty sure that rock would have melted. But it still works because Mysterio manages to blast it. Like um, it's like a sacrifice moment, but yeah, he sacrifices himself to the thing, and then but, you think like, oh no, he's gonna die, but nah, he doesn't actually die. He destroys the creature and then he's alive. In all honesty, I would have thought that he died. Me too. Like, honestly. Okay, that would have been shocking. Okay. Um, then the Tony Stark's glasses are so special, like. He yeah, those con- he controlled his weaponized company. Like, yeah, all the weapons. And like, you could imagine Tony Stark had like the lasers, the drones, the armor, the yeah, uh, all sorts of stuff. So Peter is at the bar and he decides uh, to give the glasses to Mysterio and he's like, you know what? Maybe Tony didn't actually give these to me. Maybe he wanted me to entrust them to someone else. So he decided to give them to Mysterio, and Mysterio is like, you know, I and as I understand, but like, it's you, kid. You're the one who should be Tony Stark. But Peter's like, you know what? No, you clearly have the better ops. You can do this. But Peter doesn't realize that Mysterio is double crossing him. Yep. He's actually he used to work for Tony. Yeah. Tony until told, he called his technology bar. Barf, yeah. Yeah, he named it Barf, and it was just like completely rejected, and he got fired because he was unstable. So, Bennett like ben wanted a revenge. he wanted revenge on Tony Stark badly, like really badly. Right. He didn't. So he managed to make these whole tech drones things, so that way he can be able to. Like, to, like he also like, uses me that his invention like the holographic things to create the, those turns out those elements were fake yeah those Everything elemental creatures fake. they were fake all the attacks fake but somehow he was able to augment it to make it look real yeah which was very impressive in all honesty that he should have actually gotten more praise for his technology true but um yeah he didn't Tony was like oh, yeah so bad so now he got access to the glasses and now he has full control of all of Tony Stark's drones and weapons and all of that. And so what he does first is that uh, he this he goes Peter like goes off um, he goes to see MJ and decides to take a nice walk with her. And Peter wants to admit his feelings to her. But then, that then, then MJ, MJ just says, okay, so wife says, right as Peter's about to say, MJ, I'm, and then she says, you're Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I mean, that was revealed in the trailer anyways, but you know what? It's still pretty cool here. Yeah. And I mean, it makes sense. In all the Spider-Man comics, MJ always knew Spider-Man's identity. Yeah, and he's didn't. Yeah. At least it didn't take this long to figure it out. So, mm-hmm. um, so then from there, also uh, MJ manages to pass the, uh, shows like the evidence of him being Spider-Man, um, which is one of the drone pieces, yeah. and it ends up um, sparking out and creating the weird hologram. The wind, like the wind elemental. Hologram. Yeah, and then Peter realizes that. He was lied to and had been and had given up the his web the glasses which could be able to weaponize which has ultimate weapons and all and that and could hack any type of te- technology. But that's true. Then Mysterio realized he had already understood. So Mysterio tried to you know destroy Spider-Man, but Spider-Man yeah, was so. able to survive all his attacks. But yeah, he gets hit by a train. Hold on, I. Yeah, you're skipping so much. I actually need to talk about something. Okay, so what happened was is that Peter he had an, he headed off with his group and all and all of that, and he went and they were going um the next day for some. But he went to Berlin uh for a parent uh, for a parent trip, which was actually in disguise. He was going to go see Nick Fury. And he went there, he got into Nick Fury's car and go, went along with him. They went to the base, 
but it wasn't a base. It was a construction building that was, I believe, abandoned. And Mysterio started messing with Spidey's mind. And, oh lord, oh lord, I don't know what... I, it was scary to me. So scary. Yeah, for the one... And one of the biggest things was there was a... When uh, it showed Tony Stark grave, they showed a zombie Iron Man. And gosh... Oh god, I can't get that image out of my mind. It's too. Uh, Why did you remind me? I'm sorry. It's it's okay. really. It's actually scary. It's like, just freaky, like the way those drones are able to create such a reality like that. It's it's mind boggling, but uh, yeah, Peter gets his butt handed to him, and eventually, like, uh, Nick shows up, manages to save him. Uh, but it turns, but out, it turns out it was Mysterio. He just wanted to know where his friends were since they were the ones who knew uh, Peter's identity. No, like some of them, but not all of them. Yeah, not all of them, just like uh, two of his friends. And eventually he gets his mind boggled again and he is hit by a train. And oh, that oh. was. that hurt. I can turns feel out. He managed to survive when he was caught and he found himself in excellence with other people. Yeah. He managed this. He was and he's just looking prison. around. He eventually gets off. He eventually, like, uh, calls Happy. He has this whole talk with him, like, how do I know you're the real Happy? And then he goes on with this whole thing about how he related an adult movie. And Spidey's just like, okay, okay, I believe you. So they have a long talk. Spider-Man is just sad because he can't be able to live up to what Tony was, it's just, I feel bad for him, because everyone, like, he's been put in such a huge part of his life, his mentor was killed, and now he has to take the mantle of it, and he feels yeah. like he can't his do it. His mentor had to save, he had to sacrifice himself for the whole universe. Yeah. But he thinks it's his fault that he died, but it's not. It's not at all. Eventually, he gets his hopes up, and he builds himself another suit. Like um, this time, the improvements is black. Like yeah, a black suit. Uh, we'll explain about all the suits that are shown. Like the, at least the two new suits that were shown. Um, there's also a database with all the like, different designs of suits. And I remember in the trailer, I saw, like, an Iron Spider suit, which was, like, the actual Iron Spider suit. And it looks so cool to me. Yeah, too. I actually think that should be a suit. Yeah. So, eventually, Spidey goes off to the London to go face off with Mysterio in an epic brawl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
from there Mysterio is taken down the world is saved Spider-Man is a hero and he's dating MJ yeah, yeah he dates MJ they kiss it was so cute yeah. I love that a lot but then I should find the cinematic to find out that yeah Mysterio wait hold on sub- hold on hold on Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting you so many times, but like, I just want to explain everything detail by detail because if we keep skipping forward. It's um. Like kind of impossible. Okay, point. Yeah. So okay, what happened was they all head back home. Um, they just didn't go back to their normal lives. Peter is happy because now he's dating M- MJ. Um, he also discovers that happy and his aunt are dating, kind of, sort of, it's not really actually confirmed. Uh, then they go, then they go web, then, um, uh, Spidey goes web slinging along with MJ and, like, and huh? Yeah, all oh, right, okay, so, um, yeah, then, so yeah, they managed to defeat so yeah the whole thing has been resolved everything is good but then uh when spidey drops off um mj near like times square like he jumps onto a post and then like there's a report playing yeah the report is actually something it's from and of all people to tell this j jonah jameson uh, the guy who runs the Daily Bugle, who is like spider-man's like en- enemy in a kind of way in like the media how he keeps saying that Spider-Man is a menace, but he's not really a menace. It's like the Daily. Okay, Jonah. Okay, Jonah just completely um, tells him about like how Spy reveals the clip of Spider-Man killing ki- killing the people, but it wasn't him who killed them. It was Mysterio because he just wanted fame by using that uh, hologram technology. And then he drops the biggest bomb ever. He reveals the identity of Spider-Man to every single person. And Spider-Man's about to say, what the? the? And movie ends just like that. But we, are, we actually know that there's going to be a part. There's got to be a part three. There has yeah. to be a part three. Yep. Um, because this movie was so good. And it's yeah, it was amazing. It, Spider-Man Far From Home, you got to go watch it. I mean, recommend it this yeah, point. So good. Yeah, it's it's good. It's really interesting. I don't feel like it sets up for a lot, but it definitely sets up for Spider-Man 3. I'm hoping that that's like uh, that there's going to be more Spider-Man films besides And more suits like no. Yeah. Actually. All right, let's talk about the suits. Um so let me just say the the black and red one. It's nice. It's a slick suit. That's a good one, okay? I like, but I actually like the black one. It's like undercover. Oh, yeah, the no. Okay, so this suit was apparently like the noir suit, but it kind of wasn't at the same time. But it's really cool. It's uh, essentially like Spider Man. It's uh, essentially an undercover Spider Man suit. And ar- around Europe, he was called like. Um, what was it? Uh. Black Hat Monkey. Uh, what? No, not Black Monkey. Um, no, not Spider Monkey. Uh, what was it? It monkey. was Night Monkey. Night yeah, Monkey. Night That's monkey. what was it. Yeah, so he was going around called Night Monkey in the completely black suit. I didn't like it as much. I'd say that the the black and red suit is much more interesting. Yeah, but... Plus, it's apparently meant to be a reference to the original. True. But the pro... But... The, actually, the movie was so great. I will, we all recommend it again. Yeah, go watch it again. Like, it's amazing. It's a masterpiece. That's all it is. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, I'd say... Um, it's been good uh, recording here. I'm glad to record with my nephew. He wanted to... No, cousin. Cousin, um, I can explain the whole nephew thing, but that would be taking a lot of effort. But um, yeah, thank you so much for uh, watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Like um, the video. Yeah. They think. Also, comment. 
Also comment um, what your favorite suit was. Was it the noir suit or was it the black and red suit? Or but was it, it neither and you just like... Can I give other. you a like score? Uh, I don't want, If you hit 5,000 likes... That's a, a bit high up there, but I don't think that... Okay, okay I mean... 500. We'll say 500. Why not? Why not? If it actually gets likes, 500 likes... We might actually try to make a video of... Spider-Man Homecoming? I mean, I mean, sure. I mean, it could be an actual review. Maybe. We'll Actually, see. maybe we can try to make a ne another video. Alright, yeah, we're gonna be there soon. Okay, so we we'll just need out. to end out the video. Peace.